Today I'm exploring this incredible abandoned time capsule house. Wow, look at the paint pill in here. Look at all of these designer shoes. Even the washing is still sat here drying. I hope that's not what I think it is. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Please go and check out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. Now today I'm exploring an abandoned house. Apparently it's got everything left inside it. I've just got here, I've got to try and find a way down. I'm just going to check it out and see what we can find. So as I make my way down this very slippery path, oh god yeah very slippery. Um, there we go. So the house is here. Now I've been told that it's very easy to get in and it has got a lot of stuff inside. And from here, it looks super, super cool. Let's go and have a look. I've now made it to the house. And it's quite obvious that nobody has lived in here or been here for a very, very long time. You can see how overgrown all of this is. I'm gonna try and find a way in. I think the door may be open there, which is quite handy. But look at this. This looks like it could be a really, really good find. Yeah, it looks full up, completely full up. Um, but before we go in the house, I've noticed there's a little building here, which I think could be a coal bunker. And you can see the trays which have been left outside here and the telltale signs, there are pieces of coal on the floor. Let's have a little look inside. Yes, I was right, this is a coal bunker. And look at the amount of coal which is still in here. So what they would do, they would come in here and shovel all the coal into these little trays, buckets, and then take it inside to the fireplace. Wow, this is really cool. Okay, let's go and have a look and see if we can find a way in. I think this door could be open. Okay guys, well the door is open, which always makes it very easy. Just shut it back up again, even though there's no glass in it. Um, as you can see access is very easy today now this looks good already and this is the first room this is actually the garage sadly there's not a car in here but there is a lot of stuff here which tells me this place has been abandoned for a very very long time indeed there is lots of cobwebs lots of dust and it appears everything has been left behind and i mean everything wow look at this Oh, there's actually a butterfly in there hibernating in the corner. Oh, there's two. I won't disturb those. I'll close that back up again. Oh, we won't close it completely just so they can get out. I see all the coat hangers here covered in dust. I wonder if there's anything in the fridge. Should we have a look? That's actually a freezer, but no, there's nothing in there, which is good. Look at this where it's all just fallen off the wall. This isn't vandalism, this is pure decay, natural decay at its finest. Oh, look, we've got a, a hole down there. I wonder if the local fox or the cat's been in here. Okay, so we're now walking into the kitchen. Look at this, it is completely untouched. Oh, look at the cigarettes in that ashtray, that is disgusting. All covered in mould, oh dearie me. And look, we've still got the washing freshly dried up. Been there for decades, probably. Covered in dust, spider webs. 
And the clock stopped at quarter to seven. I wonder if the water's still on. Is there anything in the pipe work? No, the water is completely off. They've got the cooker there with the iron on top. Oh, I've just noticed the dining room. Wow, look at this. Oh my goodness me, that is beautiful. Look at the paint peel on the ceiling. That is stunning, absolutely stunning. Wow, look at the stuff in here. Some more photographs there. Look, potentially the people who used to live here. Wow, this is amazing. Some of this stuff must be worth a fortune as well. Glasses there. This is really nice, though. I'm not sure what that's made of. It looks like it's made of lead. Yeah, I think it is. It's really cool, though. I like that. Make sure it doesn't fall over. There we go. There we go. God, there is so much stuff here. I have a few photographs here, look. I don't know if there's anything in here. Yeah, look, it's all full up. Look at the condensation on that mirror in the back. Wow. I don't know if there's anything in here. Yeah, look, every drawer is just completely full up. Every cupboard. Oh, that's stiff. Oh, there we go. Look at it. The amount of stuff that's been left here is unreal. That is actually really nice furniture again. Look at it. It must be worth a fortune. And I really like the lampshade in here. That is beautiful. We've got a massive TV behind me here. Thompson TV. Look at the size of it. It looks as if it's got smoke damage on the side of it as well. So maybe they were a smoker. Another photograph there, or a few photographs. Again, potentially the person who used to live here. That one there's got a couple of dogs in that. That's really sweet. Oh. Now we have got a room here on my right, but I think we'll go this way into the main hallway. Yeah, we can go into that room here, but look at this first, guys. All of the mail, which has just been piling up against that door. That door hasn't been opened in decades. This house must have been abandoned for at least 15, 20 years try and find some kind of a date on something to try and clarify that this is interesting it looks like they've had a cat and it's been clawing at the wallpaper the umbrella hanging up here we've even got condensation again on this mirror now it has been very cold over here recently and today for some reason the temperature's gone right back up again it's probably got something to do with that all the cutlery on the floor look oh i just had a drip of water right in front of me now. i don't know if you saw that but it's from the ceiling that the ceiling is completely covered in condensation. And look at the wallpaper, how it's just peeled off the wall like that. My goodness. Oh, what's that there? There's a snail. How on earth did that snail get on that wallpaper there? He's actually popped his head out to have a look and see what's going on. <laughs> They've got some more vinyl records here. This is really nice as well, look at this. Looks really old. It's like a, like a hashtag mark on the side of it, I don't know what that is. And the vase next to it's really cool too. Oh, it's actually got some bits in there as well, look. <laughs> So we've got quite a few letters on the floor though. I'm not going to go through those because it may have some personal information on there, which I don't want to actually show. So we'll move on. I think now we'll go and have a look. Oh, we've got another room here. What's this? Oh, that's just a downstairs toilet. And we have got a door here as well. I'm not sure what that is. Ah, oh, is it a basement? God, look at the cobwebs in here. Oh, no, I don't think it is a basement. It's just a little cupboard under the stairs, look. It doesn't go very far. 
literally just stops there, look. That's it. I've got some onions hanging up on the wall there, look. <laughs> Goodness me, I bet they've been there for years. Okay, let's um, close that door, oh, which is actually really stiff. And we're going to have a look upstairs now. Okay, so I'm going to climb this staircase, which has actually got water dripping from upstairs. So I'm imagining that the... Oh my goodness me, look at that. Yeah, look, it's all condensation on the side of the wallpaper, just dripping off. All of the walls are soaking wet. There's water dripping all around me. Oh, this is so creepy. So creepy. Wow, that's really nice. Look at that. I hate this because we've got closed doors and rooms that I've got no idea what's in inside. Oh, I'm just going to make sure there's no one in these ones. Okay, the rooms have got a lot of stuff inside. Let's have a look in this one first. Oh my God. I really hope that's not what I think it is. Oh my God, I really hope that's not what I think it is. Absolutely terrifying. It's my biggest fear of um, finding somebody in a house like this. It's been there for so long, nobody knows about. But luckily, it's not. It's just, yeah, it's just a load of paperwork and stuff. But <sighs> not nice. Okay, well, while I wait for my heart to go back to its normal rhythm, uh, we'll look at this TV on this side here. Um, oh, that's interesting, look, guys. So this has actually got 2,000 on it which would put this over 20 years if that's when this house was left. Um, so that gives you some kind of idea, roughly. Um, looking at all the stuff that I've seen in here so far, I wouldn't be at all surprised if this was around 20 years that this place has been left for. Now this looks like the bathroom and it doesn't look like it's been used in a long, long time. We've got paint peel in the shower cubicle as well. But look at this, I've just noticed there's an x-ray on this walking frame and it looks like a head scan, brain scan possibly. I'm not gonna touch it though, because it's a little bit, a little bit cringy. Um, look at that, we've got a shower, well, a bath tap, shower mix it on the basin. So maybe whoever was living here was elderly and they couldn't get in the shower or the bath, that's why they've had it taken out. And they were using the basin to clean themselves with. That would make sense actually. And um, we've still got a, a bra hanging up on the side there. And we've still got some bits in, in the cupboard as well. But let's go and check out the last two bedrooms now and see what we can find in there. So we'll start with this one first because this one looks like it's got a lot of stuff inside and it has. So I've got some more photographs here, look. He looks a little bit like um, Nicholas Lindhurst. <laughs> wow. Just look at the stuff in here, it's so old. The ceiling is completely covered in mould. Bit of condensation up in the corner again. Look at this, the cupboard, completely filled with clothes still. Wow. Absolutely amazing. Look at that, it looks as if Something's been climbing in. Oh, God. That frightened me. And then the bag just hit my leg. <laughs> I thought someone tapped my leg. Um, it looks as if something's been climbing in here and sleeping in here, maybe. I don't know. Maybe there is a, an animal of some sort. Look at all these photographs. Wow. They're so old. I don't know if there's any dates on there at all. No. Sadly not. But these are real photographs. They're not um, prints or postcards or anything like that. Oh, it is sad to think that this was someone's home, someone's life. You know, all their personal possessions are here, and sadly, they're not anymore. That's really stiff. I'm gonna open that. Oh my god, there is actually. Oh, there's a dead cat. There is a dead cat in the suitcase lid. 
Oh, bless it. Look at it. Oh, that is so sad. Oh. I wonder if this was the cat who used to live here. Maybe the owner was taken to hospital, passed away, no family. And the cat had nowhere to go and it just died here. Oh, that is so sad. Look at all these guys. I actually can't believe how much stuff is in here. It's incredible. What's that there? It looks like a case for something. I'm not sure. If any of you guys know, can you pop it in the comments below and let me know what that is? It's quite interesting. Okay, we've got one more bedroom to look in, just through here. And again, it doesn't disappoint. There is so much stuff in here. I think this was definitely an elderly person who lived here. Look at this, every cupboard, every wardrobe, completely full. Absolutely full. Oh wow, the old iron's cool. Look how rusty it is. Oh wow, look, we've got loads of designer shoes here as well. These are really old, wow. And look, I think they're brand new as well. I don't think they've ever been worn. They've just been in this box for decades. God, very mouldy. Pop them back in. We've got another pair of shoes there. Look, all the paint's falling on top of them, all over here. And it's covered in mould as well. What's that there? Oh, it's another x-ray, look. I can't tell what it is, because it's very, oh, it's actually very damp. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna touch that. Wow. Another suitcase there, look, full of clothes. Probably packed up for a holiday. Maybe they came back from a holiday and never actually unpacked them. Right, let's try and get out of here without breaking anything. So what I'll do now, guys, I will run around, do all my pictures, my Instagram story and a TikTok video, and I'll see you back outside again very, very soon. Right, guys, well, that is it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Please go and check out the Instagram, which is the Beard Explore underscore. Also go and check out the Facebook page. I'll call always put all the pictures on Facebook, 10 of us on Instagram, and I'll see you on next week's video.